Hi, I'm Greg Hahn. I'm going to demo to you an Excel-like spreadsheet component. So without further ado, let me click on our Tableau user test site, which bypasses our logon screen, which you just saw. So under spreadsheets, I'm going to click on spreadsheet import. So I'll click over here, and it's going to bring up our Excel-like spreadsheet component. So I'm going to import a file. So here are the file formats you can choose from. I'm going to select an Excel file with formulas to show that we can bring in formulas. So I'll double click here. It's going to bring in the data into the spreadsheet. This cell is selected and it's a formula. It's a sum formula. So it shows that we can bring in formulas. So over here are my headers, which is the first record, which is colored so you can see it better. And I also froze the first row. So imagine having hundreds of records. So if I was to scroll down, you can always see the headers. I also froze the first column as well. So if I scroll right, you can always see the first column. So now let's make changes to the data here. I click on small forward. Let's insert below that cell. And instead of typing everything, I'm going to do a copy and paste. So click there, do a control C. And I'll click over here on the blank row and do a control V. So notice that the zero did not come down. So you cannot leave any cells blank. Or else this record will be misaligned with all the other records if you were to update your database. So you need to have something on all your cells. You can put NA for non-applicable or a dash for any blank cells. But you have to have something in it. So in this case, I'll put a zero. And let's change player DeMarcus Cousins to, how about Anthony Davis, who plays for the Pelicans, at least for now, but he requested a trade, so we'll see what happens. So now let's, let's export this file, this data here. So here are the formats you can export to, but let's export it to Excel, since that's the most commonly used. So I'll click here, it's going to You'll see Excel here. I'll double click here and it's going to bring up Excel. So I exported it over here. Here's the change I made. Anthony Davis. I inserted this record. I'll close this guy. I won't save it. And you can also export directly from the grid itself. So if I click the Home tab, you'll see this Excel icon. I can click here. I can give it a file name. How about Bball since we have Bball players here? I click save and you'll see it in the bottom left hand corner here. But I won't open it just to save time. Let me just close this guy here. And now let's update our database with this data here. So I'll click save to database. It's going to open up another page. It says save successful. So what it did when I clicked on save to database was that it massaged the data. I called a store procedure to massage the data and then updated our database. So once we have our uh, database updated, we can use other resources and tools such as reporting services, which I have here. I'll click on report. It brings the data into reporting services. So yeah, the data is over here. Notice these fields are blank, and that's because this is dynamic, meaning that when I import a file, I do not know how many fields we're going to have. In this case, we happen to have 12 fields, so anything past the 12 fields is blank. So in this table, I created, I created 15 fields just as a cushion. So yeah, you can bring in reporting services or your own resources and tools as well. So let's close this guy. So the, the blue headers here, and underneath the blue headers, including the blue headers, are Google links. These, all these fields are Google links, including the, the headers here. So if I click on, let's say, GSW, it's going to bring in the Golden State Warriors. So notice we beat the Phoenix Suns yesterday. And 117 to 107. Actually, we were trailing by 17 points in the first quarter, but caught up. So we play the Heat tomorrow and on Tuesday, the Jazz. So let's close this guy. And yeah, what else? So over here we have what you call flyout menus, which is really cool. It saves a lot of real estate. So you, you can hover over, in, 
over any of these menus and you'll only see the selection when you hover over it. So I only have a couple of features here, functions here, attachments and emails. So yeah, this is pretty cool. It saves a lot of real estate as opposed to like, uh, I think Smartsheet where it's hor everything's horizontal, meaning that, that your functions, they have like attachments. Imagine having like five or six features and if, if it's horizontal here, it's gonna take up a lot of real estate as opposed to this, these flyout menus, which are really cool. It's like you have to hover over it. That's when you see the selections. So let me click on attachments. So we have a couple of records here, a couple of files. In fact, let's create an attachment. Let's create a new attachment. I'll click here and I'll choose a file. Let's select the file I imported. So I'll double click this guy Excel file here. It's over here. Let's give it a description. How about Excel B law? So let's attach the file. I can click create and attach the file. So now let's sort the file. We can sort it. We have drag and drop sorting. So let's sort these records. I'll click on sort. And let me drag what I just attached to the bottom here. And I'll drag shoe huddle on top. And notice that, note that these attachments are, are, at, the, are at the file level. And so these are unique, these attachments are unique to the to this file and key, unique key. So if, you, if we imported another another file, you may not, you will not see these these attachments, or you may if you attach those files to that, you know, file. But yeah, it's, so attachments are unique to the file and a key number, a unique key here. So let's go back to the attachment listing. So here are my sorted records or files. So to launch a file, all you have to do is click on it. Uh, click on the first one. This is an image file. This is the girls volleyball team I coached a while back. Here's my big foot. So we were doing our shoe huddle here. So let me close this guy. So yeah, you can you can edit, you can delete. In fact, let's delete the record I just attached, where I attached the file. I'll click on delete. I'm sure you want to delete this file. Yes, I'm sure. So I'll click delete. And now it's gone. So now let's let's look at the data in a grid format. So let me click on grid. Brings in my grid component. The grid component is really really powerful. You can I did I noticed that I colored the header here, which is the first record, it's just so you can see it better, just like we did on the Excel like spreadsheet component. And I also froze it too, so that if I scroll down, you're you're going to always see the headers. What else? So yeah, so one feature that's pretty pretty slick is that on the text area, let's drag that up. This field happens to have 50 characters. So it's going to warn me if I try going past those 50 characters. Let's put, uh, let's type something in like Peter. How about Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. So it wouldn't let me go past the 50 characters. You can only go up to 50 characters. You currently have 51. So it's going to truncate anything after that. Here are my 50 characters. I'll click OK. And let's change that. Instead of Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, let's say Peter Piper packed pickles. So packed pickles. Pickles. And let's save this guy. It says save successful. I can also delete this record as well. I can click delete. Are you sure you want to delete this record? Yes, I'm sure. I'll click OK and save changes. Delete successful. So it's gone. I can also can add a new record. Well, uh, let's just, uh, just to save time, I'll just cancel this guy. But you can add a new record. You can export to Excel or PDF. So what else? So, yeah, so there's also there's different types of formats here. Edit formats, for example, um, I can change the edit mode to let's put a drop down instead of a text area. Click on drop down. So now if I click here, it's a drop down. You can only select from the drop down. Or you can have, let's say, how about combo box? So now a combo box. With a combo box, you have the option. I can 
type in some anything I want. How about center four? Just and or I can select from anything from the drop down. So I can I can save the changes here. Say it's successful. And yeah, it's pretty slick, pretty cool. Um, you can um, how about yeah? You can sort your you know ascending, descending, or the way it was. Um, there's a filter here. You can filter on let's say. How about contains? How about guard? G U A R D. Click filter, and it filters out guards. So anything with guard is here. Anything that contains guard is here. So we have three records. We also can save the grid state. So I can click on save grid state. And if I was to move off this page, let's go to, let's say, Google table. So I'm on the spreadsheet Google table. And let's go back to the grid. So if I click grid, it's going to save the state. Pretty cool, pretty slick. So if I wanted to, I can reset the grid state and get all my records back. I can click on reset grid state. And now I have all my records. So that's pretty slick. So yeah, there's a lot of features here. Again, I have my flyout menus. I can, let's say, email. So it puts the record into the body here. There's, um, I can, right now it's defaulted to myself, but I have others I can select from. So let's send to myself this, what I have here. So I can click, oh, let's put something back, let's put something here, how about, let's type in, this is a test, with a lot of exclamation marks, ha, and send email. So it says email sent, so what it just did, it should have sent it to my email. Ooh, I gotta sign in here. Okay, so I'll sign in, and it should be coming in pretty soon. Here's my spreadsheet. Of all the exclamation marks I put. So let's go back here. See, so it brought it up. Here's the record here. And so, yeah pretty slick. So let's go to how about our Google table. Yeah, pretty much saw this already. This is similar to the other uh, page where when I clicked the save to database it brought my HTML table with Google links. This is pretty much the same. Okay. It tells you how many record fields. These are all Google links including the headers. I have my fly out menus here. So let's close this guy. So yeah, so here's my Excel like spreadsheet again. And yeah, I can go directly to the grid too. So if I click on grid from here, after I import something, I can say save to database and it's going to go directly to the grid. Pretty slick. Close this guy or, and you can import something. It does it pretty fast. I'll put something, how about my locations? I'll double click this and it's going to bring it up here pretty quick. Again, I froze the first row. So you can always see the header, froze the first column, and I can, for instance, click on Google Links, Google Table rather, and save to database, and it's gonna go to my spreadsheet Google Table. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Let me close this guy. Let's go back home. Yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. So escape to stop recording. Or...